from the Anaheim Public Library. And today we will be making our own astronaut food. So astronauts typically have food that is pre-made for them and pre-packed for them in baggies and their food are usually dehydrated or freeze-dried. So that means that the water content of their food and their meals have been extracted. For example, here are some freeze-dried fruits. Banana, strawberries, and apples. These fruits have their hydration extracted from them, leaving less than 10% of moisture within the foods. In space, their prepacked meals and other items such as their tools, scissors, spoons, and their, their bags for their meals all have either Velcro or are attached by strings. So why dehydrated food, you ask? It's because, well, water is heavy. And so if they bring real food that's already pre-prepared with them, up into space, not only will it not last as long, because dehydrating food also acts as a preservative, but the food will become too heavy because water is heavy. So let's experiment. Let's see how heavy a powder is versus a liquid. Today we will use a food scale and measure our liquid first. Make sure whatever vessel you are using you watch it and you wait a quick second and then you tear. And that will eliminate the weight of your vessel and then you'll get proper measurements. Our unit currently is on, you could change the unit to grams or ounces. We're gonna go with ounces today. One cup of water is approximately eight ounces and 8.57. Next, we will measure a powder. So here we have one cup for dry ingredients. And we want to, again, press the tear on our food scale. And now we will slowly add our powder in. This is one cup of powder, milk powder actually because we will be using milk powder today to make our astronaut food. It's a little messy, but as you can see, dried ingredients are smaller in weight than liquid ingredients. So that's why everything they take in space, food-wise, must be dehydrated. Today, we'll be making our very own astronaut pudding. What you will need is some instant pudding, milk powder, water, and some Ziploc bags. So we're gonna take our Ziploc bags, open it up, and we're gonna make our own dehydrated mix. Two tablespoons of instant pudding, right in the bag. two teaspoons of the pudding as well. Next, we'll use our milk powder, two teaspoons. Make sure it's kind of leveled out. And two tablespoons. Do your best to not be so messy, like me. We're gonna take these and kind of mix them up. You could zip it, so reduce the mess a little. And here we're using instant milk powder. So the starch in the instant pudding milk mix will create that creamy texture. Roughly half a cup into our bag. That was roughly half a cup. Zip it together. And now we're just going to shake it up with our hands. 
So this is something you can definitely do at home. You can share. There's plenty of pudding mix. You can share this with your family and friends. And so while you are mixing it up with your hands, your natural heat from your hands is activating the starch in the pudding, which will start to gelatinize, create like a gel, and you'll get that creamy pudding texture, that viscosity that you're looking for when you eat a sweet treat just like this. And don't forget, we have our freeze-dried fruit. So let's experiment a little bit and play with flavors. Feel free to add, to add some flavor to your pudding. Here, I'm gonna add a couple strawberries and let's see, three bananas. That will not only create texture in my pudding, but also a burst of flavor. Maybe a little bit more nutrition as well. And you can feel and kind of crush the freeze-dried fruit as well. And there you have it, folks. That is astronaut pudding. Thank you for watching me create astronaut pudding. Don't forget your spoon and tag us Anaheim Library and hashtag Steam Adventures. Thank you again for watching. Bye.